I think once he, you know, had that meeting with he and his wife and Kalen and his wife, I think it was like, how comfortable are we with with each other on both sides of this in the relationship? Because Kalen's walking into they, not just Kalen, right? Because we've heard a lot about Miss Terry, but Kalen's family is walking into a situation unlike anything any other coach has walked into. And I think, you know, Greg Byrne grew up as an administrator. His dad was obviously a really successful AD for a long time. He knows um, the power structure and all the challenges and probably all the good things that come with being the Alabama head coach at this time and all the challenges that come from it. But I think he had a, you know, I, I'm i sure Greg has always had a list of names, but I think those names change depending on how the f- success of things happen. You know, if if Kalen DeBoer goes 0-3 against Oregon instead of 3-0 and against Dan Lanning, I'm not sure he's as high up on the list. But I think all the, all the success that he had on the field, what I think that really did was made people want to look and go, hey, why is this guy so successful? And then you start seeing other things that make you think, oh, he could probably handle this very well because of his – how he's wired. You know, I did a big story recently for The Athletic, just basically asking people who know him well and have been around him, what exactly is it that makes him so good? Because it's an uncanny level of success that he's had, you know, way before, you know, way before that he became a head coach at, at Washington, you know, he'd won a bunch of national titles at the NAI level, seemingly with, with just a way different way of life as a head coach in terms of resources and what you're dealing with. But I think he is, everything I've heard is just, he's been a guy who's always been true. He's very authentic, very comfortable in his own skin. And he's really uh, unflappable in the moment and doesn't get rattled. And those things are, it's one thing to say you're going to be that way. It's another thing to have evidence that that's how you are.